Books. Christopher Pollard of Milwaukee Film and the movie podcast in the Buds joins us live with what we should be watching. Christopher, good morning. First, let's get to a third installment of The Equalizer that's hitting theaters. Yes, Mac is back. I have watched <laughs> the first two this week just to prepare for the upcoming Equalizer 3. I'm very excited about these movies. Um, it's Denzel Washington. I don't really need to say more, but I, just to fill time, I guess I will. Uh, <laughs> based on the show from the mid 80s, The Equalizer is a man you come to when the chips are down and no one else can help. That's the great line. Uh, lots of action, thrills and mystery. These films directed by Antron Fuqua are akin to like the John Wick or the Jason Bourne films, except honestly, I think these have a bit more heart. Uh, and as I've mentioned, they have Denzel Washington. Uh, so we're going to go see them. I love these movies. They come out this Friday. There you go. Pretty cool. Uh, this next one is pretty interesting. I actually, I was looking for movies to watch on the $4 movie day this oh, past yeah, weekend. Right. And this was one of them, and I didn't know anything about it. NFL star Marshawn Lynch is making his big screen debut this weekend. Absolutely. It's uh, from writer-director Emma Seligman, who had a great indie success with Shiva Baby a couple of years ago. And this is her heavily anticipated follow-up effort, and it's called Bottoms. It's a cross between Superbad and Fight Club and Mean Girls, perhaps? <laughs> Bottoms is about a group of queer high schoolers who start a fight club, both to learn to defend themselves and to hopefully do some kissing. Uh, stars Rachel Sennett from Shiva Baby, Ayo Edabiri from the show The Bear, and yes, as you mentioned, pay special attention to footballer Marshawn Lynch, who I love when he pops up in TV shows, but now he's got a really solid part in this film. He looks like a lot of fun in the trailer. This starts this Thursday at the Oriental Theater. That's one I think that I'm going to add to my list. Yeah, I have yeah. to. That looks, yeah, yeah, yeah. looks really funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, for those looking to stay home, okay, you know me, I like a good thriller. There's a new Korean thriller series that's on Netflix. Oh man, I tell you, with success of like Squid Games and The Kingdom and then uh, Parasite, the Oscar winner, there's no doubt that South Korea is a, a film scene that is making amazing content. The Glory is yet another gem from that country. Uh, the thriller centers on a young girl who's viciously bullied uh, to the point of leaving school who then plans her entire life around getting revenge. It's part Yellow Jackets, part Count of Monte Cristo, but with even more sinister feeling and look to it. It's a great new show uh, out on Netflix. I've seen the first couple and it's fantastic. Mm. See, this is why we do this. So we know what to expect. <laughs> yeah. yes. Sometimes you're scrolling aimlessly, <laughs> right. but you know, this this helps. No, we love a good revenge uh, show. Love that. <laughs> uh, as summer wraps up, a Milwaukee Film is hosting a back to school film series. Yeah, this is going to be great. As a part of our back to school series the, at the Oriental Theater, we're bringing John Hughes to the cinema mm -hmm. this whole weekend. Uh, Friday, you have Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Saturday, Breakfast Club. And finally, Pretty in Pink on Sunday. The director, who understood teenagers in the 80s better than we knew ourselves, made some of the most poignant and hilarious films of a generation. This is a great collection to see in the theater for teens and teens at heart. Pretty in Pink has always been my favorite, but they're all fantastic. Check out the Oriental Theater website for times. I think I could watch the Bre Breakfast Club over to, and yeah. over yes. again. That's my favorite. And the thing yeah. about it too, Molly Ringwald was such a powerhouse in those movies. And the funny thing is, is that she literally almost looks the exact same from Bre Breakfast Club to yeah. Pretty in Pink, and she mm -hmm. plays opposite roles, like the pretty yeah. popular one mm -hmm. to being, yeah. you know, yeah, the not so popular one. <laughs> Perfect. Love that. Well, Christopher Pollard with uh, Milwaukee Film, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next week, and we always keep a list here of things that we should watch. So thank you so much for giving us those reviews.